Alright, so I just came back from the shipping company and I don't know if all oh, these packages get all on camera. Let's have some fun. Yeah, so I'm gonna go through all these packages and tell you why I got them and how they relate to this China trip. First, in Costa Rica I lost my other pouch. That one was from Bag Smart. I got another bag. But I saw this one, it's it's like new, but it's like flat. So I kind of like this because, you know, I think I can get most of the things that I need like cables and headphones and chargers and stuff like that and still keep a nice slim profile that can fit into any bag. I lost my last pair of Bluetooth headphones so I got these Anchor slim Bluetooth headphones. Let me open them up. Links for all of this stuff will be in the description because most if not all of them I got from Amazon. Cable air tips more air tips pouch and the headphones inside i had older versions to these i liked a lot but i got these and they're magnetic and bluetooth and you know i think they look pretty stylish i'll be using this because i like to listen to music leisurely on bluetooth headphones so that's that next so i fly to china the total time from probably here to new york to china is somewhere like i think it's like 15 to 20 hours so i have a lot of devices so i thought it fit to have a really large power bank this is 30,000 milliamps from aki it's huge this is big oh, I... it's like two phones together like i should be able to charge everything that i have multiple times for a week in there you can see it has it has quick charge it has the iq technology which is not quick charge but gives the fastest output outside of that it has it can be charged via micro usb and it can be charged via usb c and i think it's a flash light on it too so that should definitely come in handy i'm very glad i've always wanted one of these for a while so i can like just charge this stuff and just throw it in my bag and like just not have to worry about plugs or anything for a good while this is just a usb-c flash drive i had one before also lost it in my pouch this is useful because i can transfer stuff from my laptop to my android phone really quickly this is weird as hell but i ordered a wired pair of earphones on Amazon because Premiere, when I'm editing in Premiere, Premiere can't output to Bluetooth so I can't really edit with Bluetooth headphones so it's always good to just have a good wired pair of headphones which I don't have. On the invoice I saw like two listed and I kept checking and I knew I only bought one. Two showed up, that's so weird. I guess I just have a spare. Let me open this one. This is a nice presentation. They're really, they're really cheap, but they had really good reviews on Amazon. The quality feels very nice. I'll be looking forward to seeing what they sound like. And they also come with a pouch. So thanks Amazon for giving me a free extra pair of earbuds considering I do lose things like these very easily. Something else should be in there. Is this is a grip. It's very tiny, it's actually much smaller than I expected. No, 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 you kidding me, that's a bad doctor. Screw onto the bottom of a camera. Let me show you, for example, like this. It's tiny though. So you can, you know, have a better grip of it. I already have a Gorilla Pod, but let me show you. This series of Gorilla Pods, I don't think they made them really good. This leg, it became loose very quickly and uh, this one you know it just doesn't feel as steady like my trust in it like i don't trust it enough to put it down so what i had really planned to do is there's this manfrotto pixie tripod screw in the bottom so i was just planning to you know screw one side screw that into the stand and then i could set it down on something firm and also use it as like a rig and thing to just you know, keep things steady. The Manfrotto tripod, I don't think it's gonna reach Jamaica in time before I leave, so I have to forego it, but this is really funny. Okay, so we're at the main attraction. I'm very excited for this, you can tell big. This box is big for no reason. Mmm. Bring back to it, let's see it. 
shipping things to Jamaica. Not the most glamorous thing. Wow. Wow. This is the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. This is the 20 liter edition. I have always wanted this bag. From them bus with this bag, I want it. Cause it just, I, I've owned one camera bag in my life. Some really lame backpacks that like come with camera bundles and stuff like that. And I don't count those cause I like gave them away. I don't really like camera backpacks because I feel like as somebody that kind of does stuff more than photography and travel like that i wasn't able to pack different stuff i don't only just travel with cameras i might need to pack clothes and stuff like that and i just wasn't really getting that from any bags that i saw online so this is actually the first camera bag that i've ever purchased it's not cheap i won't admit a camera bag is not, if it's good, it's not something that you're gonna buy every year, it's gonna last. Cause even the bags that I don't like, and even the non-camera bags I have, I still have them and they're still very much usable. This bag is special because I really like this company because they remind me so much of Apple in terms of just their understanding of design and, and just multifunctionality. Like this latch is like magnetic, oh my God inside of the bag is light colored i can tell you from experience of touring and traveling when you are in a dark area and you need to find something in your bag a dark interior does not help i don't want to make this video too long i'll just show you the bag you know that's it you can reach through these dividers you can move them up and down and the whole thing where I lost the pouch in Costa Rica was a result of the bag, you know, kind of spilling out when I didn't notice. So I didn't want that to repeat. So I said, you know what, let me invest in something that's going to keep my gear safe. So I'm going to end the rambling there. Um, if you guys have any questions about stuff that I'm doing, feel free to drop them in the comments. I feel like this video is going to run a bit too long. So I'm going to just end it here and probably continue anything gear related or whatever related into another video. So thank you very much guys for watching me ramble and talk about gear. I really appreciate it. This was fun for me. You don't know, we're trying to make this channel thing work. It's the first of May and I still don't have my ticket. So who knows if you're watching this, God bless. Catch you later in the next episode or vlog and just remember to bless up yourself.